trigger number one. So time is perhaps the most common way to trigger a new habit. Common morning habits are just one example, right? Let's look at one. Waking up in the morning usually triggers a cascade of habits. You go to the bathroom, you take a shower, you brush your teeth, you get dressed, you make up a cup of tea. All that stuff is part of your morning routine. And that has formed and created without your permission too, right? It's just something that you do in the morning. So there are also less commonly recognized ways that time triggers our behavior. For example, if you pay attention, you may notice that you repeat certain tasks mindlessly at different points during the day. Heading off to get a snack at the same time each afternoon. Taking a smoking break at the same time each morning. That is triggered by the time of the day. If these patterns are bad habits, then you may want to take notice of how you feel at this time of day. In many cases, your habits are a signal of how you feel. Bored? Maybe your afternoon snacking habit is a way of breaking up the monotony of the day. Feeling lonely? Maybe your smoking break is a way to connect with other people or other coworkers. The point is, if you understand the reason why these habits pop up at the same time each day, then it can become easier to find a new habit to fill the void. And being aware of the cue is the beginning of forming a new habit.